<sighs> right, it's with deep regret guys to announce to you that Euro 2020, as they called it, after being delayed a year, has been cancelled again. It won't be held in the summer of 2021. The rising cases across some of the European nations, like France recently, has deemed it too risky to go ahead with the tournament. And this is a message to UEFA from me and my dad to basically say, go back on your decision. Reassess and make your mind up again because we think it is the wrong decision. No, absolutely. This is something that's going to break tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock Central European time, 9 yep. o'clock our time. The mainstream media know about it. They won't release it till tomorrow. Now, our source is impeccable, isn't yep. he? Don't name him. I won't name him, and I don't think it's right to, but he did allow us to go and make this video because he feels the same way. Yeah. He was the same guy that told me that Jesse Lingard was going to be in the England squad. He yeah. announced it to me. He sent us this letter. Yeah, now this, I, this is a press release that will go out to all the media tomorrow. And what I'm going to do, you know what, I'm really annoyed about this. This is going on my Twitter right now, as yeah. soon as this video comes out. And, and Theo, it's an impeccable source. They've got things right before. Shall I read from yeah, it? Yeah, just read it out. Um, I, I'll summarise what it says. It's with deep regret that the 2020 Euro European Football Championship has been indefinitely postponed with immediate effect. The competition will not happen in the summer of 2021. A decision about the competition taking place in June and July 2022 will be taken nearer the time. So it's a case of it might happen next yeah. year. It might not. I'm and you know what? It's an absolute disgrace. England are in the best situation we've ever been in terms of cases. The rest of Europe has simply let us down. France, Germany, they yeah. just haven't got the vaccine out at the same rate. Yes, and it's important. Let me read a bit more because that explains what yeah. Theo is saying. This decision has been taken after close consultation with the governments of France, Germany and Italy. Why those three countries? I yeah. wonder why. In particular, Chancellor of Germany, Angela Merkel is heavily opposed to the staging of the competition in 2021. And there is actually a quote from Angela Merkel in here, Theo. Yeah. The holding of a major football tournament when German vaccination rates are so low is not tolerable at this point in time to German people. I support the decision by UEFA to delay the holding of the tournament until 2022 at the earliest. The French president, Emmanuel Macron, agrees with me on this course of action. It mentions Germany and France and Italy. It doesn't mention the UK. No, because we're in a good situation, Dad. Yeah. We're in, a good, we're in the best situation we've ever been. We've also got a golden era of talent in the England squad. Yeah. And they're cancelling the Euros again. They're delaying another vital year to our England success. Yeah. We, could, we are the favourites for know, a reason. I know, Theo. And then there's the, the UEFA, some bureaucrat, the media attaché, Jean-Jérôme Bungabidal. UEFA has taken this decision based upon strict health and safety considerations. We cannot condone holding a football tournament until the continent and the United Kingdom have been ridden of the COVID-19 virus. Now, to some extent you get it, but why are you telling us now? I know, it's a joke. Right at the start of April. Why do we find out now? We've shelled out thousands, you know what I mean, for We've tickets. spent a year in lockdown yeah. waiting just to see this Euros tournament, which got delayed a year, yeah. and it's been delayed another year. It's playing, potentially, what people are saying, it's going to be played in the summer of next year because Qatar's in winter. Yeah. But that's not good enough. That is not good enough. It, it We've been waiting a year for this virus and it's delayed it again. And, and they refer in this press release to the offer from the Football Association of England and Wales to hold the tournament in England. We thank the FA of England for their proposals to hold the tournament in London, Manchester, Liverpool and Milton Keynes. We've assessed the proposals in accordance with the usual 14 UEFA criteria. Just It's just bureaucratic bullshit. And they fail miserably in terms of crowd safety culinary banking and political considerations so it's like it's just a lot of waffle you know, in it it's, it's just waffle, a lot of, it's like waffle. that we get the point like i just want to let it out on camera at this point like i'm, I'm absolutely fuming I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm ashamed by uefa's decision here it was their decision to hold the first euros in stadiums in random different locations yeah, yeah. okay all the games could have been played in england they could have been at wembley bloody st james's park mk Dons' ground but instead they yeah. decided to use different European nation grounds as one tournament. Well, guess what? With COVID, that just can't run. And you know what? We're taking a risk um, leaking this now. Yeah. And you know what? UEFA, if you want to sue us, come after us. Because Honestly. I don't care. You'll find out tomorrow, 9 o'clock GMT. Will. And the reason we wanted to do this early is to get the community together. Let's get this all over Twitter, Instagram, the social medias. Let's build up a team here to fight back against UEFA's decision. Let's make them reconsider what they really think they should do in this tournament because they've got this one wrong. Yeah, UEFA, you've got nine hours to change your mind. Do the right thing. Right. Thank you, guys. Support the video, and we'll see you all very soon with an update. Bye, guys. See you.